Okay. Um, for class this morning, I wanted to work on hip opening and side body strengthening and lengthening um, to move in the direction of half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Um, so that's kind of our physical focus. And then in terms of a heart space intention, um, recognizing the practice of showing up um, in a way that we are trusting ourselves. Right? I think in our yoga practice, we take classes and we turn to teachers for guidance and to move us through a flow. That's what I'm here to do, but to show up and trust in our physical body's wisdom and intelligence and to trust in our heart's ability to move through sticky moments in life and to trust that our mind is incredibly powerful and the way that we feed our mind and the way that we, um, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> the way that we feed our mind and the way that we um, choose what we give attention to impacts the entirety of our experience. Um, but trusting that at the root of each layer is this drive towards expansion. Right? The physical body wants to get stronger create space, there's a natural drive to become um, more physically well. Uh, in our heart space, there's a drive to be free of the cobwebs and um, the old sticky clutter <laughs> that sometimes gets stuck there. Um, and our minds are constantly moving to better us, um, to move us into the direction where we can really tap into our full potential. But I think we sometimes don't trust in the goodness at the, the foundation of all that. We don't trust that we know what direction to go in and we need to trust ourselves to um, really lean in <laughs> to that natural um, expansion and growth that is just in our nature. So trust and hip opening on the agenda. Uh, go ahead and find your way into a comfortable seat. We're going to start in seated meditation. And go ahead and take a moment just to adjust and settle in. As we close our eyes, it's beginning to notice sensation. As we start to deepen our breath. The sensation is the dialogue between the body and the mind. So as we start to feel into our breath and our bodies, and trusting the information that we're receiving, really allowing the body to be our guide within the physical practice today. Let's take note of any areas that maybe feel particularly sticky or tense, we might need a little extra care and attention. And as we continue to deepen our breath and work our way into our heart space, it's noticing what energy, emotion is rising to the surface this morning. And trusting that we can be really honest with ourselves, what's present at our heart space. Because that information is incredibly valuable. It's often the heart that knows when we've held on to things too long, or knows when we're craving something new. Taking one more moment to feel into the emotional body, the heart's form of communication to the mind. And as we travel up into our thoughts, noticing maybe the different directions that our thoughts are taking us the pace of our thoughts, and the content of our thoughts this morning. And 
Right? Trusting that oftentimes behind those thoughts or hidden within the thoughts themselves is the mind's whisperings about where we truly want to lean, where we truly want to put our energy and our attention. And perhaps for these 60 minutes, really allowing ourselves to lean in, to allow the awareness of our minds to help point us in a direction. To offer energy into that direction. In a couple more rounds of deep breath. Releasing away any initial tension from your body, and tension from the heart space and clutter from the mind. So we can tap into that rooted goodness that creates the structure beneath all the extra. That natural drive to expand and to grow become the best versions of ourselves to truly lean into our fullest potential. As we reach deep into that space, maybe bring one or both hands to your heart. Just making that gentle commitment to lean into that trust for this time this morning. This time that you've set aside to be in connection to body, breath, heart, and mind. We'll seal that intention in just with one round of cleansing breath. So go ahead and take a really deep and expansive inhale. Whenever you're ready, an open mouth exhale release. As we shift back into our ujjayi breath, intentional inhales and exhales through the nose, we're gonna shift into our tabletop pose, finding all fours. As you make your way into your tabletop, just take a moment to maybe move your hips a little side to side. And then as you listen for an inhale with your next in-breath, cow pose, lift your heart, lift your tailbone, allow your belly to sink towards the earth. And exhale, pressing the earth away, start to curl your spine into your cat pose, allow your head to fall between your biceps. Do this twice more at your own pace. Your inhale opens you up to cow. And then exhale into your cat pose. Once more here, big breath into cow. Slow exhale into cat. And start to come back to your neutral spine. We're going to send our left toes towards the back of our yoga mat. Take a moment to press through your heel, creating a calf stretch. Hands push down and forward, a gentle engagement of navel to spine. And we're going to start to open up to the right into our modified side plank. So kickstanding your right toes behind you as your left heel lands to the earth. Take a big breath in to reach your left hand up to the sky. And your exhale, switch to reach your left hand overhead towards the front of the room, creating a big side body stretch. Your in breath, reach your left hand to the ceiling again, and use your exhale to flex your left foot and lift into your modified half moon. You're pressing the earth away, gently pressing your hips towards the wall that you're facing. If you want to take this into your modified sugar cane, can bend your left heel towards your seat. Maybe your left hand reaches back to catch your left foot. And if you create that hand to foot connection, send your sternum forward and then kick your foot back, getting a big circle of energy to the left side of your body. So to release back into your modified half moon, big breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna to start to go back into our tabletop left toes landing at the back of your yoga mat. So just pivot onto your right knee, left toes go to the back of your yoga mat. 
As you press into your hands and your left toes, you're going to bring your right knee to your nose, curling in through your center. With a deep breath in, start to reach your right leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. On exhale, bend your knee and open your hip and your scorpion tail. Really big push away of the earth. Take an inhale. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand as you exhale. Lizard lunge. Left knee is going to lower to the earth. Option for your right toes to turn a little bit towards the right. And then we'll start to add in a twist here. On your next breath in, reach your right hand forward towards the front of the room. And your exhale, swim your right hand back in space, twisting towards your right thigh. Perhaps you add in your quad stretch here, maybe bend your left heel towards your seat. If it's available, your right hand can catch your left foot to open up to your left thigh. And start to rotate your heart towards the ceiling, letting your right shoulder lean back in space. Take a big breath in. Then exhale, we'll start to release. The right hand comes back to the inside of your right foot. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the ground. So you're in your lifted lizard lunge. Stepping back to a high plank pose. Right foot's going to slowly step back to join your left. On your inhale, shift it forward. The knees up or down, exhale slowly to your belly. When you arrive, untuck your toes, root down to the tops of your feet, and use an inhale to find your low cobra. Staying as we exhale, re engage through your quads, re anchor through the tops of your feet, kneecaps are lifted. Squeeze your shoulder blades back in together for one more breath in. And then exhale, lower down. Keeping your elbows hugged in close, strong through your center. Press back to your child's pose. Send your hips to your heels. Just take one breath in. And one breath out. Go ahead and shift forward into your tabletop again. It's time to take your right toes to the back of your yoga mat. Again, press to your heel. Give your calf a moment to open, to lengthen. And then we're going to start to spin open to the right side of the room for our modified side plank. So pivoting on your left knee to create that kickstand. As your right heel releases to the earth, reach your right hand to the sky. Big breath in. On exhale, right hand's going to reach up and overhead towards the front of the room. Inhale, we'll return your right hand to the ceiling. On breath out, flex to your right foot and squeeze to your outer seat to lift your right leg into your modified half moon. Will you feel your right side body, your outer right hip? Pressing your hips gently towards the wall that you're facing. Option to start to bend your right heel towards your seat. Maybe right hand catches right foot. Maybe closing that circuit to create your modified sugar cane. So your shoulder blades, your rib cage, sending your heart more towards the front of your yoga mat. Continue to lengthen your tailbone to the back of your yoga mat. Take one more inhale. Then exhale through our modified half moon. As we bring our right hand to the earth, the right toes are going to the back of your yoga mat. You're going to pivot on your left knee to square yourself forward. Press through your hands, push through your right toes. Bring your left knee up into your nose. Three-legged dog, inhale, send your left leg to the sky. Then use your exhale to bend your knee and open your hip. To the length in your right side body, squeeze your left glute to lift your left knee. Take your breath in. On exhale, slowly lizard lunge. Left foot's going to land to the outside of your left hand. Release your right knee to the earth. Maybe adjust the angle of your left toes and use your in breath to reach your left hand forward. On your out breath, swim your left hand backwards. And perhaps your right heel bends towards your booty. Maybe your left hand reaches to catch your right foot. You can take a moment here to open the entire front line on your right side. 
And then again, shoulder blades are encouraging length through your spine, pressing your sternum to the front. And you can find that rotation as you lean your left shoulder back and look towards the ceiling. As you release, we're headed to our lifted lizard lunge. So left hand on the inside of your left foot, you might adjust the angle of the left toes. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. And really strong, see your right foot and hand step back into a high plank pose. Left foot's gonna join your right. We'll inhale to shift forward. Knees up or down, exhale slowly to your belly, shoulders out of ears all the way down. Find that untucking of your toes. And then inhale to your low cobra or your high cobra. Just finding the back bend that feels good for this round. Your exhale, release all the way back down to the earth. Press back to your child's pose, just like we did before. Let your knees go a little bit wider this time. So you're in a true child's pose, knees about mat's distance apart. Take a breath in and take a breath out. This time when we shift forward, we're gonna keep our knees wide going into a baby seal. You're going to bypass your tabletop as you sink your hips, draw your heels towards your seat, open your heart like an upward facing dock. Engaging through your glutes, take one more big inhale, maybe look to the sky. And exhale as you start to shift back, take your time to find your downward facing dog, tuck your toes and lift your hips. With a deep breath in, right leg's gonna reach to the ceiling, three-legged dock. On your exhale, right knee towards your left tricep, twist underneath yourself. Using your right obliques to pull your right thigh forward, hold for inhale. Reach your heart forward as you hold for exhale. And then three-legged dog, breathe in to reach your right leg high. On our out breath, right foot's gonna step forward between your hands this time. And then set your feet up for your warrior two. And take your time to root to rise, Vira Vajrasana two. Take a moment to maybe close your eyes, tuning into the sensations of the shape. And then trusting your body to take you into your warrior two, finding the depth that feels right for this morning. Can you imagine your hip bones? widening, creating more space around your pelvis. And can you send energy down to the four corners of both your feet? And your next inhale, start to reverse your warrior. Send your right hand up and back, creating length. And as you exhale, side angle pose, try to maintain that length you just created through your right side as you send your left hand to the sky. Good. From here, We'll go back into our warrior two, big breath in. On your exhale, hands to heart as you star your legs, turning your toes forward, both legs long. Headed to a goddess spot, we're gonna spin our heels in, start to bend through your knees and sink low. Hands to your thighs to again, inhale to lengthen. On exhale, dip your right shoulder to the center and twist your gaze up over your left shoulder. Follow an in-breath back to center. And exhale, second side, left shoulder dips in. Let your knees open nice and wide as you look over your right shoulder. And start to come back to center. This time, returning your hands to your heart. Start to bring your shoulders upright. Draw your front ribs in. Actively lengthen your tailbone down to the ground. Feeling the strength of your outer glutes helping to encourage your knees wide. Slowly start to press up and lengthen your legs. We're headed to a triangle to the back of our yoga mat. So spin your right heel away. Adjust your left toes so they're pointing to the short edge of the back of your yoga mat. Little micro bend in your left knee as you activate your legs, start to send your arms out wide. Stretching through your wings, lengthen forward through your left fingertips. And then once you create length, then tick-tock through your arms. So both left side body and right side body are long. Drawing in through our front ribs, we send energy down to the right foot to access our right oblique strength. 
Now spread our collarbones wide across the chest and turn sternum to the sky. And take one more big breath in here. And slow breath out. Reactivating to the core, we're gonna reverse our triangle from the power of our right side body. You start to use your right side strength to pull you up and back. Left hand reaches all the way over towards the front of the room. Low lunge to the back of your yoga mat. Start to bend into your left knee windmill all the way down and square your hips to the back of the room. And start to lean into your chair pose. So left foot gets strong. And use your core to bring your right foot forward. You sit low, lift up, see your heart and hands. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, airplane arms, collarbones are open, chest is proud. Bring it strong through our left foot and start to flamingo right heel up to the seat. So you press your left foot slowly, rise up to your one legged button pose, deep breath in. Exhale to your figure four, right ankle on your left thigh. Sink back into your one-legged chair. Hands can be at heart. If you want a little heart rate boost, you can keep your hands lifted. Then take two rounds of breath. Your third inhale, begin to rise back up, reach to the sky. And exhale, airplane pose, slowly start to fly. Take a nice big breath in. And then follow your out breath towards high crescent lunge, slowly release your right toes to the earth. Use your inhale to reach up high through your heart and your hand. And exhale, open arm twist to the left. Left hand is going to sweep back. Reach your right hand forward. As you twist towards your left, shoulders out of ears, tall to the crown of your head. Take a big breath in. We're going to keep the twist in our upper body, but lower your right hand down to the ground. So you're in your twisted low lunge. You need to slide your right toes back or adjust your feet. Take a moment. Turn your sternum to the sky. Deep breath in. You can stay here or turn all 10 toes towards the left side of your yoga mat into your horizon lunge, either sinking your hips low or keeping your hips lifted. If you don't like horizon lunge, if it doesn't feel right in your body, trust that. You can stay in the traditional twisted low lunge. From here, we're going to meet in a side plank. Right hand's going to be your base. Use your core to step your left foot back, Vashi Stasana. You always have the option to drop your right into the ground. We'll take a big breath in. On your exhale, thread your left hand underneath your right ribs, reaching to the wall behind you. Hips stay high and lifted. Keep pushing the earth away. And then inhale, reach your left hand high again. As you exhale, slowly come into plank. From your plank, getting really strong through your belly, and use your core to lift your left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Take a nice big breath in. On exhale, left knee crosses underneath towards your right tricep. Hold for inhale. Really press through your hands as you stay for exhale. And three-legged dog, reach your left leg to the sky with your breath. Place your left foot slowly to the top of your yoga mat. Create the foundation of your warrior two. Right heel rotates to the earth. And as you're ready, your inhale draws you up. Virabhadrasana two. And exhale, settle in. Possibly close your eyes. Take that moment. And being in communication with our bodies through sensation and breath. Once you've taken a moment to really tap into that dialogue, and then with the breath in, start to reverse your warrior, send your left hand towards the sky. Your exhale swims you into your side angle, long and strong through both side bodies. Returning to our warrior two, take a big breath in, rise up. 
Exhale, lengthening both legs. Turn your left toes to the long edge of your mat. Hands find heart center. Goddess squat, heels come in. Hands to your thighs. Encouraging your knees open. Take an inhale. Exhale, left shoulder dips in. If you bend your right elbow this time, to get a little bit deeper in your twist. Then your next inhale returns you to the midline. The exit of switch as your right shoulder dips in. Option to bend your left elbow, getting a little bit deeper. Breathe back through your center. Prayer hands return to heart. Zipping up through your front leg. Shoulders stack over hips. And that length from crown of head to tailbone. So imagine like a weight from your tailbone to the ground. An upward lift of the crown of your head. And slowly root down through your feet, squeezing through your inner thighs as you lengthen your legs. Setting it for Trikonasana Triangle to the front of our yoga mat. We're going to spin the left heel away. Pivot your right toes to face all the way forwards. So get strong through your legs, spread your wings. Begin to bump your hips backwards, creating length and strength through both sides. And then let your arms follow. Take a full cycle of breath here. And trusting in the strength of your body. And trusting in the tool of your breath. From here, strong through your legs. Use your left obliques to pull you to your reverse triangle. Reach your right hand up and over. Drive down through your right foot. And then low lunge to the front. Start to bend into your right knee. Squaring your hips to the top of your yoga mat. Strong through your belly, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hips sink low, take a nice full breath in as you reach. Exhale, airplane arms. Strong through our right leg, we're going to start to flamingo, left heel up and in. And then root to rise, bring your left leg with you as you stand. Feel your in breath. Exhale, figure four, left ankle and right thigh. We try to stretch your hip creases back in space. As you stretch your hip creases back, feel that lengthening through your entire spine. Okay, find two steady cycles of breath. Your third inhale, take your time to rise back up with your left leg. And exhale, we take that slow journey through airplane pose into our high crescent lunge. Maybe offering just one generous breath to your airplane, trying to find that buoyancy at the back of your heart space, engagement between your shoulder blades. And then high crescent lunge, left toes will land. Sweep your fingertips to the sky with your breath. Open arm twist to the right. Right hand's going to sweep back as you send your left fingertips forward. Okay. Expand and stretch across your collarbones, pressing the backs of your hands to that wall behind you to help open your chest. Keep the twist as you slowly tip your left hand down to the earth, right hand to the sky. Maybe left toes adjust and slide back. So again, you can stay right here. Or start to make your way into horizon lunge, turning all 10 toes to the right. You may have to adjust your right foot. Make sure you're flexing through your feet and squaring your hips toward that wall that you're facing. We'll all meet in our side plank. So finding as much control as we can, we're gonna step that right foot back to meet our left. Find your version of side plank, take a big breath in, hips are high. Exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left ribs. As you inhale, reach your right hand to the sky again. Exhale to your high plank. Your high plank, take a breath in. As you breathe out, get strong through your belly. 
Inhales, three-legged dog, right leg reaches up and back. As you exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Option to stay, option to find your wild thing. Right toes might step to the earth, opening your heart to the sky. Take a full inhale. As we exhale, we're going to bring right hand to the ground. Three-legged dog, reach your right leg to the ceiling. Take another big breath in. Step your right foot forward, breath out. Warrior two, rotate your left heel down. Rising up on your in-breath, find Virabhadrasana two. Your exhale, reach your right hand forward. Deep breath in, reverse your warrior right hand reaches high. Empty your breath and find your way into side angle pose. And just like we did before, we'll rise back up to our warrior two breath in. As you lengthen through your legs, hands to heart center, finding our way into goddess squat, heels come in, sink down through your hips. This time we're gonna stay upright. As you find your goddess squat, maybe closing your eyes, we're gonna feel into sensation. Take two cycles of breath. Okay, from here, big circle sweep as you rise up, find your inhale. Exhale, sitting up for Trikonasana to the back, spin your right heel away, left toes forward, lengthen, 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 Trikonasana, your triangle pose. So taking this to the depth that feels good for this side on this round. Strong through your legs, open through your chest, front ribs are hugging in, as you take one more round of breath. This time we're gonna extend our triangle, reach your right hand overhead to the back of the room. And then we're gonna to start to slowly and mindfully bend into our left knee, low lunge to the back, square your hips. You're framing your left foot. Okay, from here, Lean into your left foot, gentle standing splits, reach your right toes to the sky. For today, we're going to open our right hip and then bend your right heel towards your left glute. Option for your left hand to reach up to catch your right foot. Sometimes you have to bend your left knee to make that connection possible. And then you can start to lengthen your left leg again. Ooh, maybe fall over. <laughs> You're gonna bend your right heel towards your left booty cheek. And if you have that hand up foot connection, you're using your hand to create a deeper opening to the front of your right hip and down through your right quad. We're gonna to start to release into our chair pose, bend both of your knees as you bring your right foot down to the earth. Sinking into our strong seat, take a breath in, lift your heart and hands. Exhale, airplane arms. Now listen, we're gonna switch up the order of our standing balance this time. So we're gonna keep our right foot on the earth first. Go ahead and flamingo your left heel up and in. But take a big breath in, start to rise up with your left leg. On your exhale, figure four, left ankle arm, right thigh, hands to heart. Take just one cycle of breath. Breathing wide in every direction. Slow exhale out. As we rise up towards our one-legged Tadasana, this time you have the option to add in your half moon. Coming from our one-legged mountain pose, you might start to find a little bit of a bend through your standing right leg. Then you're going to slowly touch a circle sweep open to the left, looking down at the earth in front of you. You're going to lift from your outer left glute strength to lift your left knee high and then slowly extend your left leg back behind you. You can always bring a block underneath your right hand. But flex or point through your left toes so there's energy through your lifted leg. Drawing through your center, maybe tip your left shoulder back to step over your right. To your warrior two, take your time to release Savira Bajrasana two. 
Inhale to reverse your warrior or your triangle so you have the option to lengthen your right leg. Exhale into your low lunge. Windmill down to square and frame your right foot. Perfect. Plant your left palm and twist your right hand to the sky. You're framing, or rather your left foot is to the earth and you're starting to turn your sternum to your right thigh. Just like before, you can stay right here or you can take horizon lunge, adjusting your right foot as needed. Hips can be high or you can sink down, it's up to you. From wherever you are, we're gonna to start to lift into our side plank, Vashi Stasana. Right foot steps back. You can stay in your side plank or take that big breath in. And exhale, stretch your needle, right hand reaches underneath your left ribs. Inhale, right hand to the sky. And exhale, high plank through your center. Hey, right, left leg's gonna lift, three-legged dog, take a big breath in. Bend your knee and open your hip breath out. Option for your wild thing, perhaps you step your left toes to the earth. And that heart opening moment, reaching to the sky or overhead. Three-legged dog, return your left hand to the earth, take a big breath in as you stretch your left toes tall. Exhale, step to your left foot forward to the front. Warrior two, start to rise up. Here we go, settling into the strength of your legs. Reaching forward, reverse your warrior, big breath in. On your exhale, find your journey into side angle, breath out. Return to your warrior two with your next breath in. Hands to heart, lengthen your legs, turn your toes forward. Find your goddess squat. As you adjust and pivot your heels and start to sink down into your goddess. Now you're trying to find that sweet spot where you're creating space, but also connected to strength. There's a point in our goddess squat where we can go really low and then we're putting a majority of the pressure more into our hip joints. So sometimes if we actually lift up a couple inches out of our greatest depth, we're gonna get more out of it. If you wanna challenge your ankle stability, you can lift to your tippy toes. That's always wobbly and fun. Take one more cycle of breath. As we land through our heels, we're gonna circle sweep up, big breath in. Triangle pulse to the top, so Trikonasana, turning your left heel away. Just your right toes forward. Reach, reach, reach. And you choose your depth. Plugging your right thigh bone in. Strong through your left leg. Both side bodies are moving towards extension. And we open up across the chest. Make sure you're engaged through your quads. Take one more cycle of breath. You're gonna start to bend into your right knee. And you'll windmill down into your low lunge. So you shift into our right foot, open hip standing splits, lift your left leg, spin your left hip open to the left. Maybe you bend your knee and open your hip. If you want to, your right hand might reach up to catch your left foot. Remember, you can bend your knees first and then extend if you want to. Try to relax your head here using your left fingertips as a little kickstand for stability. If you want to challenge your balance, you can always bring your left hand to your right ankle. That can get super wobbly, but it's fun. Take one more cycle of breath. Hey, when you're ready for your chair pose, make sure you bend both of your knees. So bend your right knee, activate your strong core, place your left foot to the earth, then let your seat get low. Your inhale draws you up. Exhale, airplane arms. Left foot is our base, flamingo your right heel up and in. As you're ready, root to rise, bring your right leg with you as you inhale. 
figure four on your exhale. One breath in. And one breath out. Starting to rise back up towards your one-legged mountain pose. Again, we're going to be making our way to our half moon from here. So a different entrance. Finding some softness to your standing leg. Look down at the earth in front of your yoga mat. Focusing your gaze, slowly start to draw your right hip up and back. So it's a big external circle to your right hip. Lifting your right knee high from your outer right boot strength. Then start to lengthen your right leg back. Maybe start to spread your wings. Every moment, really slow and control. Can you lengthen through both your side bodies as you arrive into your half moon? You can always keep some softness in your standing leg. Energy through the right leg. Flex or point your right toes. And try to lean your right shoulder back to step over your left. Take that last breath in. Warrior two, slow motion, breath out. You can reverse your warrior or reverse your triangle as you inhale. You decide if you lengthen your left leg or keep your left knee bent. Exhale to your low lunge, facing forward. Frame up your left foot and square your hips. As you adjust your feet, you're going to plant down through your right palm and twist your left hand high. Again, stay here or horizon lunge, whatever feels best for you in this moment. Take your inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna push the earth away. The last time, side plank, right hand is your base, left foot steps back. Take your breath in. Option to thread your left hand underneath your right ribs on exhale. On your in breath, reach your left hand high. Exhale, high plank. Do you find high plank, three-legged dog, right leg lifts up and back, big breath in. Half pigeon, right shin's gonna come forward to the top of your yoga mat. And as you set up for your half pigeon, take a moment to create a really solid foundation to the legs. So working left hip forward and in. Right hip hugs squarely back. Maybe start by kicking down to the top of your left foot so there's energy through the back leg first. Inhale into an up dog chest. And if you're folding forward, think exhale belly towards the top of your yoga mat. So you're leading with length. And then you find that. So you find your half pigeon. We'll take three to five breaths. Maybe one more breath here, deep inhale through your nose. And then open up, exhale, letting it go. As you press the earth away, go ahead and tuck your back toes. Lift your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. If you want to take some hip circles or a wild thing, or just any movement here, take what feels good. Then you'll step into your downward facing dog to find second side. When you're ready, inhale, reach the left leg to the ceiling. Then exhale to your half pigeon. You always have the option for figure four as well. Taking a moment here to really check in with the squareness of our hips. Long, strong, active back leg initially. We draw a right hip forward. Pull our left hip back. If you flex your left ankle and really anchor down through your left shin bone. And then breathing in, up dog your chest. On your exhale, think about reaching your belly forward. 
as you dive any amount towards the earth. You feel like your hips kind of have a tendency to start to melt open instead of square. You can always tuck your back toes underneath. Sometimes I find that helpful to maintain that squaring of the right hip point so it doesn't flare open. When you're settling into your three to five cycles of breath, and taking your time with each inhale and each exhale. And take a final deep, deep breath in. Maybe open mouth, exhale, release. And as you press up to your hands, you can go back to your three-legged dog again, hip circles would be wild thing. We're gonna be making our way to a seat at the top of our yoga mat eventually. So you can either step or hop or tiptoe to the top Find a halfway lift as you breathe in. And exhale to bend your knees and sit all the way down. Seated Baddha Konasana. So you're seated butterfly. Soles of your feet together, knees open wide. And choose how close your heels are to your pelvis. So you can send your feet a little bit further forward if you want something gentler. And your inhale, use your hands on your shins to Pull yourself into really good posture, nice tall spine. Your exhale leading with your heart space. Think about lengthening forward any amount. If you want to, you can then send your arms out in front of you. You take three rounds of breath. And your butterflies slowly start to rise up. As you rise up, knees stay bent, anchor your heels to the earth, sit up tall and reach up tall. Your core strength digs your heels into the ground, take a big breath in. And your exhale slowly start to lower backwards about halfway. Okay, plug your shoulders into your body, really zip up through your front line. You're finding that sweet spot where you're really engaged through your belly. Take an inhale, and your exhale start to reach your hands over to the left, twisting towards the left. Pause, press your heels into the earth from the strength of your core. If you want to, start to send your left hand back in space. Navel to spine, heels grounded, arms spread. We'll find an inhale to bring ourselves back to center. On your exhale, start to turn to your right, twisting to your right. Keep your shoulders plugged in. Or strong, maybe start to reach your right arm towards the back of your yoga mat, opening across your chest. Give that sensation its moment. And inhale, both hands go forward. So you exhale, slowly start to lower down, all the way down to the ground, letting your head and shoulders release. Take a full body stretch, deep breath in. On your exhale, bend your knees and see your chest. Once you've lengthened out your spine, set up for your bridge pose. Place your heels to the earth. Feet about hips distance. Ankles stacked beneath your knees. Take a big breath in. Pressing through your feet and your triceps. Lift your hips as you exhale. Then take a moment here. Feeling the anchors of your big toe mounds, your heels. Finding upward lift through your hips, your heart. 
You might tuck your shoulder blades a little bit closer together behind you. And as you drive through your feet and the backs of your arms, take two more cycles of breath. In your third breath, imagine you're squeezing a yoga block between your ankles and your thigh bones. And keeping that hug to the midline, exhale all the way down to the earth slowly. And figure for your right ankle on your left thigh. Take a breath in. And exhale, tip that figure four over to the left, figure four twist. You're gonna bring your right foot to the earth and maybe you catch your right ankle with your left hand. And then maybe you reach your right arm at the back diagonal to the back right corner of your yoga mat, releasing your right arm to the earth as a continuation of that stretch through your right side body. From here, as you bring the figure four back to center, release your right leg long across your yoga mat. When you're moving pose, draw your left knee to your left shoulder. Find your inhale. Exhale to your supine twist, left knee tips to the right. Relax your left shoulder back to the earth. Take one slow breath. The supine twist has set you up for your figure four. So left ankle on your right foot as you roll to your back body. You can use your right foot to kind of adjust your hips if you need to, but then we're gonna keep that figure four and tip it over to the right. Figure four twist. Option for your right hand to catch your left ankle. Maybe send your left arm up at the diagonal, reaching towards the back left corner of your yoga mat. Think about stretching your left thigh bone forward and away from your chest. Take one more round of breath. As you start to come back to center, when you're moving pose, left leg extends long, bring your right knee towards your right shoulder. Deep breath in and supine twist on your breath out. This next time that you come back to center, Okay. Drawing both knees into your heart just for a moment. Take any version of happy baby so you can just keep your hands at the fronts of your knees, moving your knees wide and forward. Or you can reach up to your ankles or to your feet. And give your happy baby one last cycle of breath. And your exhale, start to release into your Shavasana, finding your final relaxation. Take a moment to settle in. Getting comfy and cozy upon the earth. As your eyes close, as your body sinks into the support beneath you, can you trust the earth to hold you? And in that trust, allow yourself to let go of any lingering tension, tightness, or holding within the body. 
So you feel your physical body melt into your yoga mat. Maybe take one more deep inhale through your nose. And one more open mouth exhale, let it go. Starting to deepen your breath. Start to breathe a little bit more fully into the back of your body, into your side bodies. Breathing down into that grounding support beneath you. As you deepen your breath, Maybe your hands find their way to your heart. It's closing your practice from Shavasana. You take this pause to pause in deep appreciation and gratitude for this practice. The trust that it helps to cultivate right, between ourselves and our bodies, our breath, our hearts, our minds. And the practice of learning to lean in, to trust in the innate expansion and growth that will happen because it's our nature, to trust in the inherent potential that is waiting to be tapped into within each one of us that this practice helps us to access. And so closing our practice Take one more breath of gratitude and inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, just let it go. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may our practices always serve as our teachers. Thanks so, so much for being here this morning. And namaste.